Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word. Brakta, <coughs> Salaki. And double honors to the elders, like I mentioned again, for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say uh, shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out from the JerusalemPost.com by Reuters and published March 7th, I mean March the 7th, 2023. And it reads, North Korea says South Korea fire artillery rounds near border. And this is the latest tensions that have been definitely stirring up between these two nations. Definitely, uh, North Korea been sending uh, uh, increasing threats towards South Korea and the United States with their recent uh, military exercise drills. And North Korea look at that as a potential threat can start off a conflict, you know. So I just want to add a note to that. When I'm read it again, it says North Korea says South Korea fire artillery rounds near the border. North Korea Army says its enemy launched 30 rounds of artillery near the border on Tuesday and demand and immediately halt to what it called provocation actions. State news agency KCNA reported. North Korea often used the term enemy to refer to South Korea. So that shows you a clear example of the tensions definitely stirring up between these two two different nations. Bring out the Matthews 24 through verse 7. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7 in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Right, so that's what we send it, in increasing tensions between North Korea and South Korea. So, you know, that's... A nation should rise against nation, and that's what we are seeing, you know. Even though they're cross border, you know that cross border between one another, from the north to the south. But you know they are still, it's still in nation versus nation, you know, and that's what we are seeing. Matthew 24 and 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right. So the nations shall rise against nations. It's definitely increasing between these two. You know, as it stated, uh, North Korea says South Korea fire artillery rounds uh, near the border and they launched 30 rounds of artillery near the border on Tuesday. So, yeah, definitely tension is going to continue to stir up and heat up more and more. As we see, the uh, nation should rise against nations are heating up in the latter days. So, with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying of the reading of the news article and the scriptures that I brought out in reference to this news article. So, with that, hopefully this was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.